will charge you say real man play model kit Gundam. Huh? This is those toxic collectors that always give a lot of stupid opinion. Gentlemen, welcome to today's very quick unboxing review. As you guys saw that I uploaded this picture yesterday, I think, I guess, okay, I'm the first in the world to got this. I mean outside China. I'm the first overseas collector to got this. The Freedom Gundam, exclusive from the Gundam base in Shanghai. The latest one for one scale Freedom Gundam statue. I really hope to go there after this pandemic ends. And when I took out this from the brown box, this is how it looks like, okay? They actually include this plastic bag for me. I think it's a Freedom Gundam art. Looks so cool. And at the back, the Gundam based Shanghai logo. So I'm gonna keep this and take a look at this. I think they use the bag to wrap it for me as well. And they have a protection on the box. See, they put this protection to protect the box from being dented on each corner. So without further ado, let's open this up. So, so big. And this is not the 72 cm tall statue. This is the smaller version. It's about 40 cm tall, which is very big enough for me. Take a look at the box. So beautiful. Okay. This one I bought the original one from Bandai because I think the price are still acceptable. For 40 cm, this price is about 700 before shipping, and after shipping fee is about 800 plus ringgit Malaysia, which is about 200 plus USD, which I think is totally worth it. And no, this is not a model kit. This is a statue. I think they said it's a, like a soft vin type of material. It can't move, you can't play, and you don't need to build like how you build your model kit. What? What's that you say? Real man play model kit Gundam. This is those toxic collectors that always give a lot of stupid opinion to other collectors. Don't worry, I have a lot of model kit Gundam. Okay, for those who said that, Gundam must be a model kit. Yes, I have a lot. Here consists of a lot of MG and the normal HG one per 100 skill. Okay. There's a lot here. There's some in the display. At that time, I'm still in college. I haven't got in touch into the airbrushing and stuff. Okay, a few more model kits. And I got a lot in my storeroom as well. Okay, uh, damn, it's too, too heavy for me to move. Okay, this box inside is all the uh, Three Kingdom SD Gundam, and you see there are some few Gundams over here as well. And inside the box, I think still got a lot. Okay, yeah, I too have a model kit Gundam, but. Those are bought during my college time because we have a lot of time to build, sand, and sometimes do a little bit of painting. It's like different people got different preference. Who are they to show who's more superior and what should they get, what should they do, what should they buy? These people are really annoying. A typical 100% toxic douche idiot collectors. So let's open this up and check what's inside the box. It 
is pretty heavy. Okay, this one doesn't have the base like the 72 cm tall Freedom Gundam. Finally! Actually from the day one when they finished building up the one for one scale Freedom Gundam in Shanghai I always thought that the pose is kind of weird It's like hmm? It's an awkward pose But still good, still good Okay, let's check out the closer video and see which part can move and which part couldn't Let's go! Okay guys, this is how it looks like when I took it out from the box. The pose is a little bit weird. Looks like it's gonna fall down, okay? So I think, I think, okay. Okay, let's try out which part is movable. This one is not, okay? This is already stick. This one, yes, this one can move. And the material is, it wasn't really hard. It's, it's not those soft green type. It's a little bit harder than those soft wind toy But uh, it's, it's pretty heavy So I think this one can move Okay This one can move The leg is open too wide Oh the leg, the leg can move a little bit So for you to adjust This part This part is uh, uh, Doesn't have a function but it can move, okay? Too bad this one can't move, you know? I like to rotate it. The hand it can't move as well. The hand is uh, much more softer compared to the other parts. Oh, this one can move, okay? This part. So I think I can, I might able to adjust the leg, how it stands. Okay, now it looks better because it's, it, it moved back already. Okay, let's check out the details. Hmm. This one can move so you can put it a little bit back. Later we will, we will take a closer look. Okay, now it looks forward. So now I just use my hand without the camera stand to show more close-up details, okay? These are those decals. Hmm, nice. This is really sharp, okay? Uh, not too soft, so you better don't mix. Uh, sorry, better don't play around with this because it might break it. Okay, check out the face. No lights up effect, okay. The arms, see how big is it? For the PG, I think uh, Strike Freedom is about 30 cm tall. This is 40 cm tall. Hmm, lack of details here, but what we pay is what we get. I think the price is totally acceptable. Okay. This is this pose is totally same like the one for one scale Freedom Gundam. Cool, action hero. Check out the back. The truster. Truster. It's cool. Okay, all these are non-movable. The metallic paint is decent. Okay, so far, thank God. This piece got no paint defects or any other broken parts. Usually when I bought those uh those Kamen Rider original from Ban Presto, uh, got some defect parts, okay? Those those are soft vin. Mouth and those 
uh, original as well, Rundai. Those are pretty good, except the Berserk mode, some pain defects. For Gundam, I think Bandai still really put in a lot of efforts in making good products. Okay, that's it. Nice. Okay, after viewing the close-up video, how was it? To me, at my age, I really don't have a lot of time because I don't have a rich dad, okay? I wasn't born in a rich family. I'm not some minister or politician's sons that we got a lot of money coming in every month without worrying. No, just like every brothers and sisters from my page, we all work hard to buy our own statues. And we don't have a lot of time, we need to separate our times for working, for kids, for family. That's why some really stop building Gunpla kits those Gundam model kits because it's really really time consuming so for this price about 800 plus ringgit Malaysia official license original from Bandai and the size is about 40 cm tall it's totally worth it as for the 72 cm Freedom Gundam that one is it's kind of hard to buy it because the price is about 15,000 Chinese yuan about 10,000 ringgit Malaysia 2500 US dollar. So that's all for today's very, very quick unboxing video on this the 40 cm tall Freedom Gundam from the Gundam base of Shanghai. And I'm so glad I'm the first one to upload in YouTube, although not many subscribers, but it's just passion. I wasn't do this to impress anyone, or wasn't do this just to get those uh, money from the ads because. I don't have a lot of subscribers, don't have a lot of money. It's just passion sharing. And I see you guys next time. Goodbye. A few moments later. So now the main problem is where should I put this? Actually my cabinet is is pretty full. But all these are just temporary because I'm saving the place for next time maybe a much bigger statue then I'll move the smaller one back to my office so where should I put I think I just put it here just move a little bit gypsy danger you're gonna step aside first this time is for the freedom Gundam Yeah.